Hello, my name's Caitlin with Fast Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Chester, and we are going to be working on some recall. Now, what we're going to be doing today is doing some recall outside. Now, just for filming purposes, I'm going to toss some food just to gain some distance. I'm going to start walking away. Chester! Now, here you see he's distracted by something. Hey, boop, 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 come. Yes but I'm just making some noises to get his attention. I don't want to repeat his name at all because that way he'll start ignoring the cue and I really want to make sure that he's giving us that eye contact before we give that command. So it's always going to be we say his name, wait for that eye contact and then give the cue. Once again, just gonna toss some food just to gain some distance. Chester! Yes! And the second his feet start moving towards me, that's when I want to mark that behavior. If I say it any sooner, or if I say it too late, then Chester will not understand what I'm asking of him. I want to make sure he understands that when I say come, it means you're walking towards me. Chester, hey. Gonna give him a couple seconds. I don't wanna call my dog when he's actively eating something or chewing on something. Chester! Boop, boop, boop. come. Yes! Very nice, we're gonna do that one more time. This time we're gonna do from the opposite side. Hey. Come, yes! All right, one more time. He's doing really good. Chester, come, yes. That was a really nice job from Chester. You see, he did a great job responding to that recall. Now we did have a leash on for safety, but you can see I just called his name, waited for that eye contact, and then I gave the command. Now, if Chester still didn't respond, even after I was making some fun noises, what I would do is I'd close that distance a little bit and try again. And if he still wasn't responding, I would just go get him. I don't wanna repeat the command. I want to repeat it only once, if possible, but overall, really nice job from Chester.